Got a porcupine. Oh, look at him. He's like, get out of here. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I got a quick disclaimer before we start this video. We had a really windy day and I had a lot of technical difficulties with all my camera equipment. So I didn't end up with a whole lot of usable footage, but I did the best with what I got. If you wanted more information on Gilmore Lake, you can always visit GoMidwestFishing.com. I'll have all the information there for you. In the meantime, enjoy the video. It is late September. We are in uh, near Minong, Wisconsin, fishing Gilmore Lake. It's, uh, it's about 70 degrees and wind's blowing about 20 miles an hour, so it's going to be interesting out here. Uh, the landing here, it's not real big, just a little gravel offshoot of the road. Uh, not really a place to turn around, so you just kind of turn around on the road and back it all the way in. And the dock here, well, it's the first time I've ever seen a sign that says, use at your own risk. <laughs> it's half submerged underwater. And, uh, yeah, doesn't look like it's in very good shape. All right, let's hit the lake and see if we can catch some fish. Right off the landing, we're in this like little channel area. It goes up into like a little bit smaller part of a lake right there, and then the big part of the lake's up there. So we might go hit them both. All right, first spot we're gonna try is a little hump here, just around the corner from the landing. We we're gonna go into that other little lake, but the tunnel looks so small, I don't think we were gonna fit through it. So I don't think we're gonna get there today, but we'll try out here instead. All right, no luck on this hump out here. It's pretty windy. We're gonna go up a little bit further. This is the kind of little channel. Narrows down, maybe it won't be so windy. Plus we got uh, those guys right there kind of moved in. So we'll let them have it. Get shallow, might snag now. I'm just trolling through these narrows here, showing lots of stuff kind of floating around near bottom. Oh, oh. I was getting shallow, probably getting snagged up, but it seems to be fishing here anyway. All right, so far this lake's kind of been long and skinny and it's really steep shorelines and it goes down about 20, 30 feet deep. It's kind of hard to fish. We're used to fishing kind of shallow bays with some weeds and catching northern bass, that kind of stuff. So we're up at the far north end. It kind of gets skinny again, then opens up into a little uh, end area here. It looks a lot shallower. Hopefully there's some weeds in there and we'll try to pull some northern or something out of there.
sweet. Oh, we got a bass. We have to, oh, it's a nice one too. Duck blind hiding in there, didn't even see it. Here's Reggie fishing in the sunset. So if the window just quit, it'd be nice out here. Okay, round two. Otherwise, if you get on this side of the dock, I can kind of push it around and then hop it in when we get it in the... Okay, you try that. Once we get it latched, I'll just hop in and ride it in. Oh, there's a big log here. Over there. Lift your motor up. I think you can jump it. Knocked out on the tree. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> it's moving. Let's go, man. <laughs> All right, we are here. All right, look at this. Woo. Let's get her hooked up anyway. I'll try to swing this around. All right. Start whining. Oh, oh, my foot soaked. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We're all taking them up. <laughs> this wind is not nice. I'll get it. I just talked to a kid that just got off the lake. He was floating around a little raft with his girlfriend. He, he's from the area and said he's fished this lake his whole life and he said it's actually pretty good fishing. Uh, today is a little rough because all the wind and you know it's being later in the fall. Uh, not usually a type of lake that I fish. It's got really steep sides, kind of deeper. And um, We usually like to fish in kind of shallower, weedier bays. It's where we caught a bass in the northern on the far north end. Kind of opens up into a big uh, shallower area. So if you want to fish this lake, you're going to find a lot of small northerns, some decent sized bass, and then I guess there's some good bluegill crappie in here also. And I know I sound horrible, it's just the common cold that went and got tested, so that's all it is, nothing to worry about there. If you happen to be in the Minong area, you want to fish some of these lakes, uh, the majority of them have kind of all the same thing, a lot of smaller northerns, some decent bass, some panfish. Uh, I reviewed a, quite a few lakes around here already, so just uh, check out these that I already did. And uh, see you next time.